and in this video we'll be talking about how you can apply to how you can schedule an appointment for a US visa interview so this is a general process that takes place that uh, every candidate for a US visa will be interviewed beforehand so in order to apply as usual you first open the browser and search uh, schedule an appointment for a US visa so as you search schedule an appointment for a US visa the first result will be uh, apply for a US visa schedule my appointment under this website ustraveldogs.com just one second and what you need to do is you just click on the first result ustraveldogs.com schedule my appointment and this is the page you'll be getting from here you scroll down and under more actions there are two options schedule an appointment and change your appointment if you've already made an appointment and would like to change it up change the date yeah this is what you click on but if you're a new user who's just starting out and would like to apply to schedule an appointment for the first time you click on schedule an appointment like so so this is the page you'll be getting now for registered users there's a login button all they need to do is give their email id and password and login so this is for existing users who've already created a profile since we're doing this for the first time and we're we're just starting out, we're just scheduling, we're just scheduling an appointment for the first time. We would need to create a profile. So in order to do that, you need to click on new user. This is where you'll be registering under new user registration, India. So here you need to fill out a few boxes. So you need to give your email ID. I'm just giving a random email ID now. just for the purpose of this video and under first name you give your first name and just make sure that the first name and last name exactly ma correctly match uh, that as of your passport that is as it is in your passport which is to say that your first name and last name should be spelled exactly as it is in your passport now you need to give a password Make sure you tick this box. I have read and understood the privacy policy and type in the CAPTCHA code, which it's a bit hard to read. I think it's LCYOV and click submit. Now that's done. You've created a, a profile this is your profile number make sure that you remember what email id you gave and you make sure that you note down the password that you gave for this id in order to in suppose that you need to log in again to reschedule the appointment or just check if a more convenient date is available in, for, for such purposes, you will be needing to log in again. So make sure that you note down what email ID and what password you gave. Otherwise, you will have to do this process all over again. And since there is payment involved, it it's you need to be pretty uh, cautious about what ID and password you are giving. So just make sure that you save the email ID and password. Now, first things first. Since it's a new application, you click on new application or schedule appointment. 
the first thing they'll be asking is visa type so since normally we'll be applying for a non-immigrant visa i'm going to click non-immigrant visa and hit continue it's pretty simple the form there's there's nothing much complicated about it so the next thing they'll be asking you is to select your country and state of residence so since we're applying from india which part of india are you residing in that would be what you need to click on here so i'm just gonna go with india kerala so as you can see once i hit continue i'll be given a, a list of languages i can choose for the interview now this is different for each uh, each state so since i gave uh, i clicked on india kerala i get a variety of options such as hindi kannada malayalam tamil telugu urdu english now the post is chennai so the closest post for a person living in kerala is chennai and these are the language choices that they could choose from now if you had given india maharashtra if you are living in india maharashtra in mumbai and you click india maharashtra the languages the choices of languages you get here would be hindi marathi and english so based on where you're staying these choices will change so just make all you need to do is make sure that you click on a language that you're most comfortable talking in the language you're most comfortable uh, uh, communicating in that's the language you need to pick out from here now we just hit continue so the post that they given is the most convenient one to where you're staying since i gave india kerala i got chennai which is closest now the next step is to select a visa category that applies to you since most of us are just uh, tourists or going for business purposes this is the most normal option visa category so i'm just going to click on that based on what your purpose is if you're a student or an exchange visitor you need to mention that you need to make sure you mention that now continue select visa class visitor visas for business and pleasure so under this there are visitors for business visitors for business and pleasure and visitors for pleasure of medical treatment so i'm just going to go with b1 b2 visitor for business and pleasure and i'm going to click on continue now this is the information you've given so far just make sure that all the selected information that they've given here is correct before you continue so now they've given us an available appointment the first available appointment is monday february 2020 22 february 22 2021 so now if you're comfortable with that with this first with this appointment date if this is most convenient for you and you have no problem with it then you can just continue and move on so there are a few uh, things you need to know the information you provide on this page uh, needs to be accurate needs to match your passport and all of these things will be used to contact you so make sure that you, the information you provide is completely accurate now they'll be asking for passport details so you need to give your passport number i'm just going to give a random number here for the purpose of this video the passport issuance date the passport expiration date my date of birth nationality 
and you need to mention gender here and DS160 confirmation number. Now this is something that you need to uh, make sure that you get you, that you get right. This number, this DS160 confirmation number, in the previous video where we talked about how to apply for a US visa, we we had an uh, we had an ID number. That is your DS160 confirmation number. So what you need to do is make sure it's a number that is in the format of double A followed by eight characters. This is the same uh, number that was given as your DS160 ID. So that's all you need to do. You need to take that number which you've saved, your DS160 ID number, and you need to give it here. Now you need to provide a phone number to contact you. And an email ID. And now a mailing address. So this is the, the, the address that you give here is where your mailing ID will be received sorry, uh, where your passport will be mailed to you and other, your visa will, sorry, your visa will be mailed to you. So in order to collect your visa, you need to make sure that your mailing ID is completely accurate. So I'm just giving a random one here. You make sure that your mailing address and your postal code is all com correct and close by to your, uh, to where you're staying. So this is the mailing address to which your passport, the, the close to this mailing address, your visa will be mailed. I'm just going to click on continue here. So in order to make that uh, a bit more clear, your mailing address, the mailing, the address that you give, and there's a location, there's a location that might be close to your mailing address and that's where your visa will be delivered so in order to collect your visa you need to give a mailing address that's completely accurate to where you're staying okay. so i made a slight mistake request an account change so my personal details match the profile which already exists in our database okay so what happened here is, since I was giving a random passport number, I actually used the same passport number. So I'm just going to cancel that. Your personal details match that. I'm just going to give a random number. I forgot to change that. That's a, that's a mistake on my part. I apologize. So now that you click on continue, Now, if you have any dependents who are applying for a visa, visa along with you, you need to add them. So you can add them by name or since I'm just traveling alone, I'm just going to skip on this part. But if you have someone who's also applying for the visa along with you, you need to mention that. Now, specify documentation delivery. You can check whether your visa is ready to be collected using only your passport number on the status tracker. Using your passport number which you've given, you can check whether your visa is ready to be collected. So, now you need to choose your mode of delivery here. So, there's either pickup or premium delivery. So in, uh, if it's a pickup, there's a location that it will be delivered to from which you can pick it up. 
so all you need to do is select city i'm going to go with cochin since i gave uh, kerala as the location now this is the closest location from which you can pick up from which i can pick up my visa so this is where it's going to be delivered based on what location you give here as what city you give here uh you will get a location where you can pick up your visa and this is my location kochi coastal chambers first floor opposite mercy hotel so i'm just going to tick on that and continue this is where i need to pick up my visa from now this is where you need to pay now one thing you need to uh, one thing i need to make clear is visa fees are not refundable so any payment you make is permanent you will not be refunded the amount if suppose you realize that you made a mistake or there's a there's an error in your mailing address so what you need to do before you pay the fee is make sure all the information that you've given is completely correct and matches your passport and whatever other details documentation details there are make sure your mailing address is the most convenient location and make sure that uh, the address that you've given for picking up your visa is the closest to where you stay and that's all the things that you need to make sure are completely correct now this is where we make payment so the total fee is indian rupees 11520 and there are multiple payment options so these are the payment options you can go for electronic mobile over the counter so right now i'm not going to be making a payment this is just a tutorial video but since so this is how it works once you filled out the all all of that all of that information such as visa type the post the visa category and the visa class the next thing the last thing you'll be needing to do is making payment so this is the payment amount and these are all the payment options the modes which you can use to make payment now before you enter the receipt number ensure that the passport bio data and ds160 information which is the, your application id that you've previously given when you applied for the us visa both of those things match the us travel docs profile what you need to make sure is that it uh, there are no discrepancies or uh, errors in the profile the passport information or ds160 information now if there are any errors as we've mentioned before i can't uh, stress how important this is you, the mrv fees are not refundable and they are non transferable which means if you realize that there is an error then you can't change that you will have to make a new pro profile and pay the mrv fee all over again your mrv fees won't be refundable in case you find an error or any discrepancies in your profile or passport information that you've given so make sure that first before you make a payment that all your information is correct and most importantly this is what they've given first available appointment is monday february 2020 one uh, february 22 2021 so this is the most the closest date in which you can make uh, the appointment schedule the appointment so the post will be chennai now once you've done this you will get once you've made the payment uh you will be given a, a a box will open here a pop up box 
which you need to confirm in order to use a receipt number. So basically since we haven't made a payment yet, uh, I can't show you exactly how that's going to work but basically what happens is once you've made the payment, a window will open here. You can click on this again like uh, around 24 to 48 hours later. Once you click on this, uh, you'll be able to add your receipt number using an existing receipt and you'll be allowed to continue like so. As soon as you make payment. Now, a few things I need to mention. If you're not comfortable with this date, such as the first available appointment date that they're giving, and you'd like for this to change, and you'd like to wait until a better appointment date is given, then you can completely, that's completely fine. You can do that. So just what you need to do is make sure that you don't make a payment unless and until you're completely satisfied with the appointment date and you can reach you will be allowed to reschedule the appointment date at least two times there are two uh, two trials two times you can reschedule your appointment and that's about it that's all that's all i have for you and so this is how it works visa type post visa category visa class and first available appointment date and once you've done all of that and you've given all the information you can just all you need to do next is make the payment you can log out of this session and wait for a better appointment date until it's available in case you want to so this is all the information we provided and the post of interview we've given we are given is chennai based on where you're staying so in case you want to wait wait it out until a better appointment date is given you can completely do so it's totally fine and once that happens once you get a much more convenient date for you you can make the payment now again i'd like to mention i'd like to stress the fact that all MRV fees are non-refundable. So make sure that uh, all the information you've given is accurate and the appointment date is most convenient for you. That's it. Thank you for watching.